Hello and welcome to Motion Time. For today's topic, we're gonna talk about mask in motion. So let's start. But first, mask. Mask is a very easy concept to understand. It just shows or hide an element on your canvas. For example, I have my circle here on my canvas, already centered. Then let's add the mask. Option R to activate the shape mask. Then, let's create a rectangle here on the side of the circle. Now, we have a shape mask on our circle. You can see that the rectangle mask only shows the half of the circle because we only specified that this area will only be visible. However, if we want the other side to be visible, we can just select this invert mask so that the right side will be visible. Just like this. Alternately, you can just change the mask blend mode from add to subtract. So that is the very concept of masking. So next, let's talk about shape mask. But first, let's create a shape on our canvas. Other than the circle, let's add a different kind of shape. Let's go to the library. Then shapes, then select any shape in here i'm gonna select pentagon okay pentagon let's change the color and let's move the position a bit okay the next let's convert this shape into a mask so how to do that select your shape that you want to be become a mask go to object then here on the last part convert to mask so now our pentagon became a mask which only covers the bottom part of our circle. If we move this pentagon around the circle or some sides of the circle will be visible. However, if we move it completely out from the circle, the circle will not be visible anymore. So let's put it back in the center. Then next, how can we convert this shape mask to a shape back again? So let's select your shape mask object then convert to shape so that's easy very easy how to convert actually i learned this conversion quite a few weeks ago when i was doing some masking in apple motion so it's quite uh, new to me also so next let's talk about the keyboard shortcut for shape mask is option then r for rectangle Then let's add a rectangle here on our canvas, rectangle shape mask, just like this. Alternatively, you can go to this side, then select this down arrow. Then you will have some other options other than the, the rectangle mask, circle mask, freehand mask, bezier mask, and bespline mask. So as the name suggests, circle mask, it just create a circle shape mask. For example, option C for cir circle mask, then shift to create a perfect circle, and it's just easy like this. Let's delete that circle mask, then select again this drop down. So freehand mask, I don't usually use this one because I don't have any purples or haven't thought of using this. So this is the pre hand mask next is bezier mask is option b on your keyboard option b then you can create your custom shape mask just like this quite easy isn't it then next is the b spline mask select this again bezier tool then this one it creates a smooth curve of bezier mask for example, have a point here, then point here. Oh, sorry. Add a point here and here, 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 and here. You can notice that the B spline mask created a smooth curve. Keep again. Let's do that again. B spline mask. Select here and here and here so you can see it created the smooth curve that's how to do the shape mask 
Now, let's take a look at the different properties in the shape mask. Let's add again a rectangle mask on our circle. Option R and drag. So we have this different mask controls for our shape mask. Roundness, this will adjust the corners of your shape, especially here on the rectangle mask. If we adjust this slider, you can see here on the left side, that our rectangle mask have now rounded corners. You can increase the roundness of this one as much as you want. Now we're, we're at 262 and the rectangle mask looks like this now. Let's revert it again. Next is size. So if you want to adjust the size of your rectangle mask, you can adjust it here. You can adjust the width and the height. So mask blend mode. Currently, it's on the add. If you change it to subtract, it will show the other side. Replace, for now, only shows similar to the add, also intersect. However, in some situations, you will need to use the replace or intersect. I don't usually use these two. I usually use just the add or subtract. Invert mask, if you check this one, it will just invert the selected mask blend mode. So currently we have selected add. So if we check this invert mask, it will become subtract. Let's uncheck and if we select from our mask blend mode from subtract, then check the invert mask it will now show the left side of our circle. So feather, it will feather out your shape mask to have a smooth thing like this. So fall off, I don't usually use this one, but you can experiment on your time. Also fix feather, I don't usually use this. Then if you want to convert your shape mask Two points you can do so just clicking this and convert now our rectangle mask have four control points and if you want to add more points to this uh, shape mask which been converted to different control points you can do so you just double click on an area on your rectangle mask then you will have another control point which you can adjust to have a custom shape. So that's quite easy. Another thing, when using the shape mask, be careful because if you add a shape mask on a wrong active layer, the result will quite be different. For example, I will have another shape on my canvas. So I have a star. Then I want to have a shape mask on my circle however if my star layer is the active one and i add a shape layer that layer will have the shape mass so you need to check first if the correct layer is selected and then you add the shape mask 